Hello my souls and welcome to XCOM 2. This is actually one of my favorite game franchises. Um, I actually played XCOM 1 for the uh, 360 when it first came out and essentially marathoned it from start to finish. Um, mostly because when I was a kid, and this is actually very much a nostalgia game for me even though it's a new game. <laughs> As a kid, I played the original XCOM Enemy Unknown. Um, or, uh, yeah, I believe it was XCOM Enemy Unknown. Not the one that recently came out, but the insanely super hard one for the PC back in the 90s. <laughs> um, anyways, let's get on into this. I'm going to be playing this in what's referred to as an Iron Man mode. Meaning, I'm only going to save the game when I go to leave the game from recording, and I'm not going to reload at all, uh, unless it's to continue the recordings. So, whatever happens is 100% permanent. <clears throat> and because I've played this before, I'm going to be going on Veteran, and I'm going to keep the tutorials on, just because. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, what celebrating the? the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. Man, this is already freaking interesting. All suspicious activity to your Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. Sorry, I have no idea what is stuck in my throat. Ugh. First things first. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Copy that. Moving up. Okay, so we're gonna try to get through the tutorial in this video. In position. 
but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing, but see if you can't find a safer position further out. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Okay. So these half shields means it's partial cover and you're exposed. You can still be shot pretty easily. Full cover gives you more defense, more uh, cover. Crasher 2, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher 1. Double time. Full cover does not, however, mean that you can never be shot. Especially if They're they flank. Position. If they flank you, we're you're screwed. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Hey! We got Tinkerbell. Keep oh, we got Tinkerbell watching us on the, uh... We'll only today, get apparently. one shot at this. In the shadows. Stay alone. Come on. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. <clears throat> Setting up a pretty little ambush, aren't we? When I first tried to play XCOM, I tried to play without losing a single person. Hopefully that's enough. Um and one of the things you gotta realize when playing a game like this is you don't lose people. Because uh, though this is a tactics a game, yet. it is one of those uh, games in which uh, to you can't exactly what's the word? Do it. You can't exactly expect to survive. Uh, with or you can't expect every single character you've got to survive. I can only attack one in particular. That sucks. Oh, apparently it's not a uh, Tinkerbell, it's Leroy. Okay. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. Okay. Let's hop I up here. The bravery, but you're dangerously <coughs> close right now. Be careful. Bam him. Those are pretty guns. Not going out that Oh, she's very dead. Poor girl. No, crash it to us now. Anna. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. And I guess this tutorial is uh, nice trying to highlight what I was just saying. You have to expect to lose people in this game. It's not something you can. It's not like the kind of game where you can just sit and uh, play through without losing a single soldier. It's just not gonna ever be that way unless you have a uh, saves coming kind of person. Nice shot. Who was that? She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Transmission. Well, okay. One way to stop the transmission. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. Uh. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. 
We've all heard rumors. I just <clears throat> never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're balls. looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. Okay. I'm on it. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything that moves. Okay, so toss him into Overwatch. The main entrance is clear. We need to move <clears> the <throat> package. Overwatch is a really useful ability. Though, there's that. <clears throat> Menace 3, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. Yeah. As per usual, uh, self-destructing equipment. Boy. Well done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall him here. This entire thing is scripted right now. What the? I'm going for the door. I think the tutorial is scripted. Thankfully, though, I'm pretty you sure this game is going to go right along the door. Though. Security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. I'm pretty sure the uh, game, though, isn't going to be as scripted as this, or as heavily scripted as this. Come on. Moving to secure the package. Let's hop in here. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? What the hell? Yes. Understood. We're on the move. 
That would be a shitty way to die. Plasma no. bolts right to the face. No. Crasher one is down. You have to get out of there. We need another exit. Now! Got it covered. Goes the dynamite. Works for me. <clears throat> Though this game is going to be a relatively there. slow game, I do apologize for that. Um, but actually, you know what? I'm not going to apologize for that because this game is insane. Most of the XCOM games are, and even though they might be a little slow paced, they're usually really, really fun. <laughs> they're a little stressful too, though. Because shit like that happens. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Let's do this. the balls <laughs> Okay, that's pretty. Carefully. There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Oh man, itchy ear. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. The cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. <clears throat> I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed <clears throat> to be removed. We are risking severe. No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, <clears throat> vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told him it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Huh. 
Perfect. Oh man. Such a freaking nostalgia trip. Hi, Lashes. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tuckman. <sighs> Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Good to be back. <clears throat> oh, I can't see the... Commander, to the research labs. You guys can't see it, but I have a little blue bar on my screen. It's right at the bottom of the screen that is blocking that entire thing. So I can see Command and Res. I'm guessing Res is research. Propaganda assessment. Uh, the following directives have been identified by resistance analysts <clears throat> based on thorough review of Advent's ongoing propaganda efforts. Aliens key areas of focus as directed toward uh, Aliens key area of focus as directed towards the civilian populace are recruitment of an increasing number of civilians into the city centers. Nurturing an atmosphere of distrust to encourage self-report earning among city center inhabitants. <clears throat> Encouragement of the belief that so-called dissident groups are to blame for perceived faults. Disassociation of traditional beliefs and, val and value systems in favor of ad uh, adulation of the elders. So these guys are essentially brainwashing the masses. <laughs> The Advent Network uh, Tower is a central hub of the alien psionic network and their worldwide communication system. Although the tower itself is readily identifiable, it is a readily identifiable, uh, identifiable fixture for those people living in the city centers, its overall function and the extent of its capabilities are still generally unknown. It's wild, uh, widely believed that the Advent peacekeeper for uh, peacekeeping forces are coordinated from somewhere within the tower. Uh, <clears throat> Advent public history records. In July 2015, the coalition government, form, uh, uh, formerly known as Advent, uh, was first proposed by a small group of human politicians who stepped forth intent on negotiating with the elders despite the open hostility initially directed towards these uh, these peaceful alien visitors they were uh receptive to the possibility of coexistence despite the uh, despite their effective conquest of earth's combined militaries the elders allowed for the pact of unification establishing advent's governance in the 20 years since advent has effectively served human uh, humanity and created an environment of peace and prosperity. Uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> XCOM Project History. Uh, initially received uh, as a means to defend, or conceived as a means to defend against unforeseen threats in the Earth as a whole, the XCOM Project was uh, first outlined during secret planning sessions concluded through the year 1993. Although these early decisions were only meant to establish the theoretical principles of defense against an unknown enemy, all agreed upon preparations were carried out in the participating council and all nations immediately. Uh, <coughs> immediately. For more than two decades, the project remained dormant, with limited personnel records maintained by a agreed upon representative of the council. In February 2015, long-distance scans indicated a number of large, 
unidentifiable objects on a slow approach towards Earth as agreed upon XCOM or the XCOM project was activated on February uh, 10th with key personnel assignments fi uh, filled by the late uh, latest active candidates on file in less than two months time open hostilities between the aliens and Earth's forces ravaged much of the planet's uh, developed world leaving the uh, Nails paste text. Survivors desperate and alone. Commander, Let's go to the to research the lab. Impressive, isn't it? You're <clears throat> capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. Yeah, you pulled the chip out of my brain. Implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. <laughs> A farewell, Commander. <clears throat> On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Let's do it. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Pretty. Uh, uh, pretty. We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Commander, to the bridge. Okay, folks. This is where we're going to leave this particular episode off. And the reason being is because I don't want to get too in this and... Uh, what's the word? <clears throat> Go over time. Because, holy balls. This game, you can lose track of time in it very, very quickly. Anyways, if you enjoy the gameplay or the commentary, give us a like. If you want to keep up with this or any of our other uh, content, hit subscribe and ring that bell. Because, folks, we have daily content that you don't want to miss. For now, though, this is Kit the Soul signing off. So until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.